All right, welcome back. Joining us right now is noted filmmaker Mr. Ram Gopal Verma. Thank you very much, Mr. Verma. Uh, you are promoting your movie, so let's first talk about that. What is this film Hi. all about? Uh, can you tell our viewers about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Lanky is a is a martial arts film, which is a first of its kind I made, and and the jazz genre which I never touched, and that whole thing comes from my. Uh, obsession for Bruce Lee when I was in my college days, so I just wanted to catch his spirit and to make a film uh, centered around a female martial artist. Yeah. And and uh, was that the inspiration, Bruce Lee? Yes, yes. But why did do you I just wait all this for? Bruce Lee being such a small man. Yeah, the, that's an interesting question because, um, you see, any film is an idea. Probably in the beginning it was not like I had, an, I was uh, in college days when I wasn't even a director, I was influenced uh, and impacted by Bruce Lee. And much later when I became a director, I used to copy some of the way he used to design action scenes, though there were no martial arts. Mm. Then at a point of time when I started seeing the contemporary martial artists like uh, Jet Li and Donnie Yen and uh, Tony Jaa, I always thought there was something missing in the context of what Bruce Lee managed to catch. And maybe roughly 10 years back I had started developing this desire to actually make a martial arts film. And then I thought instead of having a man, if it, because Bruce Lee one thing was he's a very small man, he's just 5'7 in height. And he made it look as if he can beat up big people or 6'3 and things like that. And I thought, why not take a step more further and make it into a woman? And a woman can beat up men if she's a martial artist, is, I thought was an interesting premise for a film. And that's how the film happened. Very, very interesting. You know, Mr. Verma, uh, it's interesting that you talk about all of this because uh, I, I'm sure you must have heard and seen the headlines of uh, uh, a huge debate about uh, what is creative freedom and what is not, uh, especially when you're talking about religion. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask you this question because this is contemporary. Uh -huh. There's a poster about Goddess Kali, a, a movie which uh, has been in question. The mm. filmmaker has also been questioned. She says that this is my creative freedom. On the other hand, people have taken objection. A member of parliament uh, commented on it in a certain context and there yeah. is an FIR against her also. What is your understanding of how much creative freedom is good creative freedom and where is that no-go? See, to start... I mean, to st I mean, first of all, I'm not very sure to understand the good and bad and even the word creative. I think it eventually boils down to freedom of expressing an opinion. It is not in the context of a filmmaker or a writer or, or whatever. I, I, I just think we are living in times when there is so much of intolerance about everything, not only about this particular issue, what you're talking about. And I think uh, the uh, see the whole point of freedom is if if unless you see, if only when you what you say offends someone that is when you need freedom otherwise you don't need freedom to start with you know I think uh, then see the the discipline of any society works on four things which is legal and which is moral and which is social acceptance and which is uh, probably ethics or whatever but eventually everything has to practically go by the law of the land. And I think if the democratic of the constitution guarantees the freedom uh, to someone to express their opinion, I think it only should go in the course of law, of what, whatever that is. Like, you know, I don't remember who it was. I just uh, saw someone who was talking about uh, certain practices uh, which happen uh, towards gods and goddesses, which uh, might not be absolutely unacceptable in some other parts of the same practice in the country or it might not be in the knowledge of some other people. So I don't think it's about creative freedom. I feel the only way one can measure it is whether it stands up to the prevailing law and the prevailing provisions in the constitution. Beyond that, I think uh, any individual of any party or any community taking an objection and making a noise about it, I think it's fundamentally unhealthy to a, a country which is uh, supposedly a democratic country. Very interesting assessment, Mr. Verma. Do you feel then as a newsmaker, uh, beg your pardon, <laughs> since I'm in the news business, uh, I look at everyone as the, uh, as the newsmaker. As a filmmaker, uh, Mr. Verma, do you feel that uh, yeah. your, your creative liberty to perhaps comment or make a film on religion 
has gone down or do you feel it remains unaffected or uh, a new set of rules must apply now to you I mean, I mean if you see, were but, to experiment but, see but that's what I'm saying see there, there, see, there, are, there are three things yeah see there are three things here one is a so called popular opinion which uh, which uh, which seems uh, popular because it is amplified on the social media and then it's a question of who's got the loudest voice and who uh, speaks in the most uh, virulent manner in terms of uh, uh, to make the point i think anything which comes on emotionally aggressive statement which tends to make news and uh, people tend to take it seriously i mean that that is the whole point i mean the whole point of a social structure is to dumb down the emotions and bring rationality to it and which is the reason i said it only can be measured against is it allowed under the law and everything else i think is rhetoric uh, to start with yes people might take the recourse to law and file affairs and whatever but does that really stand up uh, at the end of the day i think is a question meanwhile it just becomes noise uh, which i don't know where it goes uh, at the end of the day but you know my final Those question do you, do you feel religion is a different shouting do you feel religion is a difficult subject to make films on especially now with hypersensitivity I mean, but that is what i'm saying see the where the see it was you know it used to be done quite a lot before even against religion even against mythology but i think in the days of the social media the opposition to it seems like very very amplified where i don't know if that is true or it seems like that is something which i'm not because like they say a lot of people say a lot of people in the social media could be in hundreds but we are living in a country of 1.3 crores 130 crores sorry and uh, how many of them actually feel you will never know because uh, whether this is the tip of the iceberg or this is only a tip and not the iceberg is something i don't think anyone can really uh, put mm. their finger on it mm. interesting thank you very much mr ram gopal verma and all the best for your movie um, we'll definitely thank you. we'll definitely watch it thank you so much thank you